Today I'm going to talk to you about how to play chords and sound great while doing it. So if you're a beginner guitar player, you've probably run into this situation where you try to play a chord and it comes out sounding kind of like this. Where it doesn't quite sound clean and crystal like like that. It comes out sounding all splotchy and buzzy and stuff like that. So this is because of placement. It's not really a pressure thing, okay? So I've conducted this experiment with hundreds of students and it works every time. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick any note on the fretboard, okay? For this experiment, I am going to pick the fifth fret of the E string. Now that's an A note. And I want you to start off with, it doesn't matter what finger you use, I just want you to start off with zero pressure. So which means your finger is barely just touching the string and you're gonna get zero harmonic content from it. So the note's not gonna ring out. Then I want you to turn that pressure up to one. Then I want you to turn it up to two. You can already hear that you're starting to get a note. I want you to turn it up to three. Now turn it up to four. I have conducted that same exercise with hundreds of students. And in 99% of the cases, before the student has even gotten to like level five of pressure, right? They're already producing a note. So what does that tell you? It's not about how hard you're pressing. Most often beginner students are strangling their instrument. They're strangling and that causes so much of stress and it hurts and they're like, oh, this feels so uncomfortable. So here's what I want you to understand from this experiment. It is not about the amount of pressure because you don't need that much of pressure. It's more about the placement. So let's talk about the placement over here. If you picked any fret, this works better if you have larger frets, which happen to be over here at the lower part of the guitar neck. So if you pick a fret, let's just say for instance, I pick the second fret of the E string. Now the most ideal place to play it is right there, which is the inner edge of the fret. That's where you're gonna get the best sound. So you can slowly kind of slide your finger back. And as you can see that as I slide my finger back, the note starts to sort of get buzzy and less clear. So try that out and I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.